Yeah guys, unfortunately my worst fear came through. Somebody went on site and stole some of the wires we put in before the screening. We paused for just not long and they went in there and stole. So just watch the video and then after that I'll show you a video I took before they went and cut the wires and stole what they wanted to steal, okay? It is so frustrating. God help me. Guys, I'm very unhappy this morning. This is some of the things I hate about being in Ghana. I have security on sites. We're doing screening, but we brought in new checks, so we had to pause that, focus on the checks. We were about to start back to do screening on uh, Monday. Today is Thursday. I called the security yesterday. He said everything is okay. And then my mason calls me this morning that um, someone went and pulled some of the wires we've already um, put for the screening like i don't know what else to do i have a security when i called him he said oh i'm just grabbing something to eat and i'll come back he's supposed to stay there overnight like i said because during the day people work there right well for a few weeks now two weeks now no one has been there because like i said we've been um, busy on the farm but just for him to go get something to eat, like, I don't know what happened. Somebody has gone there to steal some of the wiring. I don't know what to do, guys. I, I, I seriously, I did everything. Like, But the thing is, you know, I, like I said before, we didn't do all the wiring because we don't have electricity there yet. We just did a few to get the screening done. And that's also a lot of wiring, so I have to replace. And thankfully... Um, the thief was only able to do um, the lower bottom, pull the wire. So, oh God, it's just, it's, it's a make. This is one of the things I hate about being in Ghana. It's, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know if it's those boys who are still trying to prove a point that, you know, even though um, it, we, we suspected them, but they're not there, but still people are still stealing stuff i don't know what's going on but i'm very angry this morning i'm going to the farm to pick up my husband and then we're going on the building site i don't know what we're going there to do but we have to go it's bad timing like i, I bought wires and oh god but majority is at my house thank god we only did a little to get screening done and now look So I'll keep you updated, okay? I'm driving, but I'm just so angry this morning. It's not even funny. Bye. I'm going That's the question. Here for long, Bafa. I'm going to check. So yes, they have started and I know they're not going to stop. Cut it. It was all, thank God we haven't done all of it, but they've cut it as you can see. This was like this and they've cut and taken what they wanted and left it wasted. Okay, they couldn't pull it out because the distance is long. So they cracked the pipes open and pulled out what they could. So I guess in the midst, they heard someone coming and then they took off. So they'll definitely be back. So that's the, the once they've started, there's no stopping. And this one goes all the way there those are the ones we did because the distance is long so that's why we did it so we can do the screening so they've pulled out all the wire 16 mm the big ones 
<sighs> brother so this is the video before they cut the wires and you can see we've done it and there's a lot of wires hanging out and they cut it all so like i said i don't know if it's the boys still trying to prove a point that even though they don't have the key people are still breaking into the house i don't know and then the day before this happened my steel bender called and said oh mommy i haven't seen you guys on site he lives nearby for so long What's going on? So, oh, uh, we're doing something on the farm. We're starting back on Monday. And bam, this happens. And then when we went and we were speaking, he apparently also called the mason, the head mason, to ask him the same question. So I don't know. Was it him? Was it the boys? I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. And another thing is some Ghanaian workers are so thick. We've bought our security um security doors for a long time like months and then he keeps saying oh i'll do it after screening and uh, you know what my husband keeps saying we have to do it. these things are expensive if they get stolen i'll charge so you he claimed he wanted a laser laser level so i practically fought with my husband to buy me a laser level from canada we've given it to him and he still hasn't installed the doors so while we were on the break why couldn't you do the doors and by the way yes he also installed security doors at a at a cost so we were, we're gonna pay him anyways but for him to do it it's like they don't listen to things keep missing and it's costing us so we were so angry and upset to say the least my husband was annoyed so First of all, I'm going to tell him we don't want to see those boys on site anymore. And secondly, we need those doors done before we do anything else because we have the security doors. So while we're doing our patrol, they had left scaffolding by the um, building, making it easier for people to climb in there. We had two tall wooden scaffolding plus the scaffolding I have. And we're like, what? wait a minute, why can't you dispense those things knowing that will be on, the br on break? You're giving the thieves access to the building. So it's like, oh my gosh, it's so frustrating. They take everything as a joke and it ends up costing us more and more and more and they don't get it. And I'm just so sick of it. So now I, I'm going to like, honestly, I am so pissed. 16 mm, I spent so much money, 12,000 buying them and we use all of it. So now I don't know how much I, it's going to cost me to replace this. So annoying. So we're going back on Monday. So during the day, someone will be there. But next time, it looks like I have to hire around the clock, around the clock security, like one for night time, one for day shift, in case no one is on site. Okay, because I don't know what to do again. Ghana, you guys need to do better. You need to stop this stealing. Times are hard. Rich poor whatever we're all struggling so stop this it's annoying and i'm getting tired of it. it's happening so often and you can't even catch them to to take them to the police station so they just keep getting away with it thank you and smile i'm not smiling but smile okay bye guys